weekends. So I am currently on a train and I'm heading to London. My name's Arthur and this is my rolling vlog. I got really early this morning and it's for a specific reason. I've got my magic band on because today is a Disney withdrawal day. I think you may be wondering, what is a Disney withdrawal day? Well, it's a day where I do various Disney related activities. But what's to come, I will tell you later. quite a long day for me. I got up at half six and I was exhausted. But I have something I'm going to tonight which I probably can't take you guys with me. But I will be able to take pictures so you'll be able to see what I'm going to see that's Disney related. Well, I say it's Disney related. It is Disney. So it should be kind of fun. So I'm now at the hotel and it's quite a long journey because once I got to King's Cross Station I had to get uh, the Northern Line to London Bridge and then I got the Jubilee Line to North Greenwich because tonight I'm seeing a show at the O2 Arena. So before I go into the show, which I'll reveal once I exit here, is I decided to get something to eat because it's getting near dinner time now and I decided to go for an Ando's, which sort of goes along with the Disney Crawl Day because it's Portuguese and Epcot Food and Wine Festival has a Portugal stand. So it sort of works. So with all the excitement, I actually forgot to show you guys what I had to eat. I had my usual at Nando's, which is a butterfly chicken with medium spice, with corn and cob and fries, and it was really tasty, as always.
There's the exhibition that Tim Tracker and Adam Wu have seen. And if we come round here, there is a DC shop, which I don't think people will be ha too happy with me filming, but some really cool DC memorabilia inside. So now it's time for me to enter the arena and I still haven't revealed to you what I'm going to see today. Well, all I'm going to say to you is uh, it's time to play the music, it's time to light the lights, it's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. S see you guys after see the show. You enjoyed seeing some of the pictures from from the Muppet show I saw last night I have to say it was absolutely incredible I've always been a fan of the Muppets and sort of you know it's been like a kind of like a lifelong dream I'm so glad you guys were there with me to share in my experience I was so impressed with Matt or his full name is Matt Vogel because he is the new voice of Kermit so I was a bit unsure with Kermit because Steve has always been my Kermit because obviously he's been Kermit the Frog ever since I've known the Muppets and Matt has just taken over the role. So I've been following Matt and his role of Kermit for a while and I'm, he's improving day by day and it's incredible how much he's improved since he first took over the role and he's at a stage now where I would sort of say he's like in between Jim's Kermit and Steve's Kermit 
if that's possible. So it's sort of like reminiscent for me of Steve, but also would be reminiscent of Jim for other people. When he first started, he was more like Jim. Now he's in between Jim and Steve, which is really cool. What's also cool is he's making the role his own. So he's not trying to be someone else. He's just trying to you know, do Kermit the best way he can. And I think it's awesome. The show itself, I thought, was really cool because it included some classic scenes, which some people might remember, like Pigs in Space, for example, which was really kind of cool. They also did the sketch, as you saw, of Rainbow Connection, which is m one of my favourite Disney songs of all time. I was really pleased that they included Rainbow Connection, but well, they had to, really, because it's a classic Muppet song. And also the su surprises of having David Tennant perform with the Muppets and obviously Kelly Minogue, that was a big name, to perform with them on the show last night. So overall, I, I really enjoyed it and I hope one day I get to see the Muppets live again. So while I'm out in my room, I thought I'd show you around give you a room tour. So when you come into the room, the first thing you're greeted with are these pieces of art on the right hand side wall, which is quite different and it's various different views of London and of the, the O2 down there. And then there's a cupboard here and this cupboard is just your standard cupboard. It has a nice light when you open it up. It's got a little shoe shine thing, which is really cool. And Proper hangers. Not very often you go to a hotel and see proper hangers. And then on the other side, you got your kettle. You even get some slippers for the carpet. And you can tell a place is fancy when they give you slippers. So then the door here leads into the bathroom. So when you come into the bathroom, We've got a, it's an accessible one, so the toilet's quite is raised, quite high. And then there's a sink over here. There's a shower chair, and, and there's a huge shower head up there. Massive, and it fills quite a big area because it's so large. It's really cool. And then they've got a mirror, in various selections. Branded, you know, your usual, you know, your shower gel, your shampoo, etc. Some soap. There's another sink. So this this bathroom has two sinks. And obviously a giant size mirror. And what fancy hotel room isn't complete without your bathrobe? One of the things I forgot to show you is the control system. So all the lights here are controlled by these buttons. So to switch it on, you'd do this side and switch it off as that side. And then, of course, you've got your controls for the aircon. Put down back down to 16, and then, obviously, you've got low and high. And then the, the, the Do Not Disturb sign for the cleaners are all controlled by this panel, which is really fancy. And continuing further into the room, you've got a curing coffee maker. You can go there. Hey guys. You've then got a lovely piece of artwork that's over the bed, and then two side lamps. And each of these side lamps at the side also have those controls at the side. You've got a nice seating area and table. Excuse the mess. There's um, obviously a desk and a chair. This is all my stuff. Because <laughs> I'm ready to go checking out today. But the piece de resistance, as they say, is the view. Outside my window. Lovely view. So this is the view facing the other direction. And obviously that's the O2 over there. That white building is the thing sticking out. That's the O2 where the Muppets were performing last night. And obviously tonight as well. So that's basically the room. And I'm staying at the Intercontinental at the O2. 
and it's I have to say the whole hotel is really fancy and sort of like I feel like I don't belong because it's this fancy. So you probably guessed I forgot to record another outro again. I don't know why I keep doing that but it's because becoming more and more of a habit. I had a really awesome time seeing the Muppets and I hope you liked the sort of new thing I did with having a bit of a b-roll in my vlog and full credit for the music in my b-rolls goes to Brock. Brock is also a content creator. His channel is Ears To You. Go check his stuff out. He does some really awesome stuff. And he's an excellent music editor. So I'll put a link in the description both to his YouTube channel, Ears To You, and also a link to where you can download his music. He's got free albums available currently. So if you go to the link for his music, you'll be able to download the music that I use in my B-roll for this week's vlog. And the cost of the album, which I got the music from, costs $12, including tax. So go check it out, it's really cool. And the link will be in the description. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. That'd be really awesome. And also click on the notification bell. That's something that everybody's saying now, so I thought I should say it too. That'll keep you informed and up to date about my future adventures. I've got many more adventures to come. But for now, it's time for me to roll on to my next adventure.